Hi, I'm James Howell, and this is some footage of a cap game with a friend of mine, Brady, from the Subsistence Metal Gear Online. I think somebody switched hosts here, which is why it went to black immediately after. Uh, I've got, uh, got Ocelot here as my special character, uh, killing myself so I can respawn and choose the SAA revolver, which ricochets off walls. Uh, Ocelot had that revolver as a special weapon, and he could also take two headshots. If you shot him once, his hat would fly off, like during the boss fight uh, in the offline game, and you get that perk in the online game as well. Reloading like this. It's a revolution. Uh, the SAA could uh, ricochet off walls and was actually really good for fishing around to see if an enemy was around a corner. So different from simply changing a clip. Reloading like this? It's a revolution! Like, right there, I was able to determine that there was nobody waiting at their goal by firing the shots around. I'm running a defensive game here uh, in preparation for my friend uh, who is uh, going uh, offensively, and I'm here hanging out in this little spot behind their goal to catch them as they come through. This spot is interesting. Uh, you could crouch here behind that column. If you go into first person view and lean out, your aim would peek out around the corner, but your head wouldn't, so it was a little glitchy thing to take advantage of. And there's Brady. Uh, the, uh, our other unknown teammate ran up there and bumped me aside, so I wound up shooting my friend in the back. One weakness of the SAA is that it would automatically target any enemy near, or any character nearby, and that could also include your own teammate, uh, which is why there was a lot of friendly fire there. Uh, the bullet was seeking out, uh, my own team. And here I'm back with uh, just a regular character. The other team typically spawns and runs behind, which is why I'm chilling out here to catch anybody who's going to try and get my team from behind. And here again, I'm taking up this uh, defensive position. There's an example. Right, right now, my aim is popping out from behind that column, but if the enemy were to come up, my head would be behind that column, so I would uh, basically be invulnerable. I would feel... Uh, I was initially kind of uh, ambivalent about whether or not to use that, whether that was fair, but there was a promotional event where the Kojima production development team uh, played random players, and they use that as well, so... Figure that makes it fair game. Now here, uh, my friend Brady has the uh, Karatan guarding it at our goal, and I've got kind of a pincher attack thing going on here as the enemy team filters out through those two... those two doors. And that's two out of three. Brady was really good at this game. Much, quite a bit better than I was. I was uh, somewhat above average, and he was better than above average. <laughs> Oh, he is running between the gaps of the ellipsis of my bullets. Right 
right now. I think these guys are trying to run a defensive game around our goal and uh, and prevent us from you know bringing the Karatan there. Hopefully, try to catch it on the rebound. And they succeeded. She cleared us way out. Teamwork there. This might seem like unnecessary stalling, but this is kind of a long hallway, and the other one is shorter. So if uh, if somebody's coming up behind you, they can really screw up your lead. It's worth uh, taking time to make sure your back is clear. And that's where the video cuts off, but I can assure you, we did in fact win three out of three. Thank you very much for watching.